What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skittin' back at it again. I need to find a new fucking catchphrase. I'm tired of saying back at it again. I have returned the. No, that's not gonna work. We'll figure something out, guys. Uh, so as most of y'all know, and if you don't know, you should know. So now you know. So you better know next time when I ask if you know. But as most of you guys know, I am getting married in two freaking months. And I'm pretty stressed, you know. But I'm pretty stressed. But I mean, I feel like I've been pretty reasonable in like my requests and the things that I've asked of like my bridesmaids, my fiance and the groomsmen. Like I feel like I've been working really hard, not working really hard, but I've just been like trying to be really conscious of like what other people are able to do and can do and the things that like are appropriate to be asking for uh, as we plan you know and set things up for this wedding um because i definitely don't want to be a story on reddit about being a bridezilla like i 100 percent don't fucking want that shit you know and so and i just feel like at some point like those decisions have to be like conscious right stupid thing but um like those decisions have to be conscious you know and so like it just like really st the idea of me being a bridezilla is like really stressful to me so but i decided to watch these and just see you know like i want i just wanted to reassure myself that i'm not a bridezilla that's all because i know this shit's about to be nuts so we are here to watch bridesmaids bride bleh, bleh, bridesmaids reveal insane bridezilla weddings and a two and a two and a one who was involved in a bridezilla wedding what bridezilla. happened bridezilla planner here i've seen some Bride invites ex-boyfriend to wedding because ah! he's just a really good friend. During reception, her husband of two hours goes to the bathroom. She plants a kiss on him, notices I saw, and promptly reminds me to mind my business. At the end of the night, catering informed me they hadn't settled their bill. Bitch, if what? they didn't get payment, that night there would be an additional fee charged. I run outside and let them know before they drive off. Two days later I get a call from Groom, who informs me the bride is extremely upset with my unprofessionalism and Bitch, wants you didn't a pay your shit. She wasn't happy that I made a scene by running outside to tell them about the bill in an effort to save them from additional charges. I asked him if he was aware of the scene she made when she kissed XBF on the dance floor while he went to the bathroom. He hung up. Wow, you're picked four hundred dollar bridesmaid. Awful, but also awesome, Jesus. Destination bachelor cost over one thousand. Yo, my bridesmaids got their dresses hella cheap because they were both la like last season dresses. One of my bridesmaids got her dress for like less than fifty bucks. Okay, this shit is gonna drive me insane. I'll forget it. Thousand two hundred dollars. Insisted on a super expensive spot for the bridal shower. Registered at William Sonoma. What I was a fuck? broke college student with limited funds but managed to pay for all this and give a gift. Wow. Bonus points. Her husband forgot his entire tux and didn't figure this out until a few hours before the ceremony. A few minutes before the ceremony, when she screamed at me for like the 500th time that day I snapped and told her either she cut her or I was getting in my car and going home. Right. She cut her. The rest of it went fine. Friend asked hey, me. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I hope none of my bridesmaids have to do to that to be a to bridesmaid me. in her shotgun wedding. That was to take place in a little over a month. She has us all the semi-expensive dresses, and they had to be altered to a certain length. Shoes had to be ordered. Toenails had to be painted neutral color and finger nails had to be French manicure. We weren't allowed to paint our own nails, we had to get them done at a salon. Hair had to be done professionally by her hairstylist. And we were not, under any circumstance, to have bikini tan lines visible. Oh wow. Mind you, this was right after summer. I lived in an area where beach attire was usually the only attire and everyone had visible right, tan lines. Right, so how the fuck are we supposed to I avoid this shit? I eventually had to tell her that I could not afford to have everything done professionally with such short notice. I would be happy to do my hair in Macube. My hair was so short I couldn't do an up though. She told me her mom could pay and then I could pay her back. No. That was the final straw. I sent an email to her telling her I could no longer be in her wedding. Right, like she fuck was off. pregnant, about to You're get not hitched, to put me in debt for your wedding. To her list of problems. I valued the friendship and told her such, but just couldn't do what she was asking. Right. I hadn't heard from her for years. 
Until one day she sent me a message asking for me to buy from her MLM campaign. What the fuck is MLM? FFS. I was wow. in a wedding where the bride planned two separate bachelorette weekends for herself and got mad at anyone who couldn't slash wouldn't spend two three day weekends at five hundred dollars slash each away from their wow. husband what? slash kids slash job. What is with job. this? I keep like, Doctor Realness just told me this story too. I don't understand why you need two bachelorettes. That shit don't make no sense to me. The week leading up to the wedding, the temp for the big day was forecast to be a high of ten. Asterisk F. February wedding. N E U S. Bride was oh, insisting on outdoor no. photos without coats because we can't Absolutely hide the dresses. Absolutely not. Everyone, including the photographer, tells her hell no. Day of she pitches a fit when we refuse to do more than one quick photo. Afterwards, no. she stopped talking to 75% of the bridal party because Jesus of their refusal fuck. to accommodate her outrageous See, so like, demands. I feel like in this case, they're not bridezillas. They're literally just awful day, people. Years later, like, I feel like complains. bridezilla implies that like after the wedding, you're like kind of a decent person. You know what I mean? About how her bridesmaids ruined her wedding. The short story is that she lied. She lied to the venue about the number of guests that were attending, effectively packing us like sardines. She lied about having a day of staff. That meant that all the dates of the bridesmaids spent the day hanging flowers, running to get kegs and waters, pouring the champagne for guests, setting up the entire venue the day before. She lied Wait, to the what? hair and Macu personnel about the number of people who were obtaining services in order to get them to come to the site. This forced guests to get hair and makeup done in order for the bride not to have to be charged extra. What? She lied to the catering about the number of guests. This caused them to run out of food and alcohol. What? All in all, I think her lies saved her $1,500, but cost her close friendships as Jesus her attitude toward the whole situation dude. was indignation instead of being apologetic. Not a bridesmaid, but a witness to one. The bride got walked out on by her entire bridal party, except her maid of honor. Of course it was, because no one loved her, and everyone wanted to ruin her day. Not because she ripped a bridesmaid dress from the neck down, in an open area, because it was too white. It was the dress the bride insisted on all the maids wearing. Overheard the bride drunkenly tell a mutual friend at her wedding day that, if she could do it all over again, she wouldn't have had myself and a mutual friend in her bridal party. Excuse I was me? I planned her bachelorette party with the mutual friend from another country and dropped a lot of money on it personally so she would have the party oh, she hell wanted. The fuck no. I gifted her a pair of Jimmy shoes for her wedding day along with a beautiful ring with her wedding oh, date hell engraved. The fuck no. I had to fly to Europe for her wedding, use a hire car to get around and help with loading slash oh, transporting not. wedding items back and you forth. You should have whooped her I ass. I was up that morning arranging with the hotel to deliver breakfast slash coffee slash tea for the bridal party. An old friend decided a week before the wedding she was going to fly from Oz to surprise the bride. I mean, I think so I had to arrange that surprise and find a hotel room for this friend and speak to the groom to check with catering and arrange a seat for her without the bride knowing. I stepped in to help the makeup artist as she was running behind schedule. I walked the venue to make sure things were on track. Wow. There are more things she did throughout the you night that infuriated friend. me. I was treated like a slave and spoken to like one. I catered to her every whim from 6 a.m. until midnight and then to overhear that. Apparently her wedding day was ruined because the color lilies in her sentry pieces wouldn't stay suspended in the water bars like she wanted. And it was all my fault because they slowly floated to the top. That's Next how she is all hugs and kisses saying it was the best night ever and she couldn't have done it without me. I have never wanted to fall can punch her so Why hard in the face. Why didn't you? It's the day after I will her never wedding. Ever it's not her day no more. Again. That wow, it was a best awful. friend of mine who was very fruitful. So I figured she was going to have a reasonable wedding and bachelorette party. Bad assumption. I had shared I my money to eat concerns with like her this. too. I can't live that like I worked this. and went to school and couldn't take off much time. She didn't have that many friends, so it was only me and one other girl as bridesmaids. She asked us to hand make all her decorations for the wedding. I put in 15 hours a week hand making decorations, all outside of working and going to school full time. Jesus. Then she planned a week long bachelorette party out a of town, week long? also asking us to foot the bill, not to mention our dresses which I wanted to find something affordable, but she picked designer matching dresses that we had to pay for, never worn it again, been trying to sell it online. 
I spent nearly 1k on the whole ordeal. Jesus Not to mention I did her hair Christ. and makeup for free for the wedding. I just felt largely taken advantage of and unappreciated. Mm -mm. We are no longer friends, because we ended up working together, after the wedding, and she tried to screw me over at work. It all makes me very reluctant to agree to be in someone's wedding again. Yeah. Even someone I thought, would be considerate of everyone else's budget and time. My wife got roped into doing the photos for her stepsister's wedding. Normally my wife would charge between $4,000 and $6,000 for this. That's a ridiculous amount. we were amount. flying across the country, to attend this wedding mostly out of family obligation. So Bride was getting an amazing deal. Over the course of six months, Bride becomes incredibly hateful on social media. What? Constantly starting drama. Was in her save the dates. Changed How? venue and location several times. How? We knew it was going to be a show, but we'd committed. So we bought our plane tickets and planned to come. Oh, Week no. before the wedding, Bride goes oh, totally no, psycho know. and posts nasty, awful things about half of her wedding party, what including my fuck? wife. So we decide to cancel the photography and not attend the right, wedding. Right, yeah. Wasn't worth it anymore. Bride's own mother was so ashamed of her, her behavior that she didn't attend either. All total, they had eight people at their wedding and only got cell phone pictures. We had a nice little <sighs> vacation and visited a lot of friends in the area. Wow. Bride was blonde. All bridesmaids except for me were brunette. She asked me to dye my hair brown for the wedding because she wanted to be the only blonde. I suggested that instead I just give up my bridesmaid wow. spot. Wow. Thankful to this day, since I heard the dresses and bachelorette party cost all the other girls more money than I make in a month. Dodge a fucking I'm bullet there? Sometime. Jesus. One friend is getting married in the beginning of the year. Her former best friend has been super... Best friend! Jealous ever, since friend A got together with her man, and has been actually happy. So, we'll call her B, and it will become apparent as to why. Got with a guy early in the summer. Within weeks, she gave up her lease, and moved in with him. Think three weeks. It's been less than six months, and they got engaged. Because A got engaged a few weeks ago, B got engaged last week. Are you kidding me? B just had to set her date before A she has to get married first. The only planning she has done, she has reserved a high party room in a rundown municipal building. Oh, hell no. She could wait, save money, and have a decent wedding on a budget. But no, the B has to get married mm -hmm. first, so she can rub it in A's face that she's happier. God damn it. My money is on B announcing her pregnancy at a day's reception. 100%. Bride had two I hope friend A friends. doesn't invite friend Pretty B to Pretty different financial said backgrounds between us. Reception. And I was friend of the groom that became a friend during their engagement. She had one wedding in the local state she grew up, and one destination wedding a month later. She couldn't decide which dress to get, so she bought three. Lord Jesus. I was maid of honor at the local event, and supposed to be in the destination wedding. Had to overdraw my bank account to attend, and cover Why? it. Why? I see, so like, I understand, right, that like weddings are special, and weddings are important, and you want to make the bride and groom happy, but like, I, I literally just don't understand putting yourself in debt for someone else's day when you're not related to them. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Expenses. So I was really a bit annoyed at all the extravagances. It was a three hour ceremony with two venue changes I want what I want, and it's my day. I gave people for that. Still ringing in my ears just thinking of it. She spent 60k in credit card debt on her perfect day, S, which she told me the day before she had not informed the groom. The best part I mean, how does he not when she know? was in her second wedding dress change, she started to scream about how things weren't exactly what she wanted. Standing there half dressed and drunk yelling about how the cake wasn't perfect. Three K cake that was transported from another state was slightly Jesus. smushed on the backside from hours of travel. The whole bridal I mean, party fair, was just standing there in the hallway waiting to take pictures again. I told her to shut up. Said I wasn't going to come to wedding in Ireland. Reminded her that her hundreds of guests could hear her drunk and fixed her bustle. She was such a little tantrum throwing. At the end of the Irish dancing oh, wow. groups, the toasts, and her wedding dance, that was choreographed, her paid wedding planner offered to give me for putting up with such a score. Oh. The lady did it loudly in front of me and aunt who later told the bride, yeah, it sucked. She is a great girl too, just a terrible bride and drunk. Wow. TL, Dr. Wedding Planner offered me drugs for putting up with the bride. Stupid. 
I just really don't want that to be me and I think I can avoid it but man I just I like what happens what happens at a wedding to make the to make these girls act like this I don't understand I don't know man this is crazy peace out hope it's it's getting lit